new at 10, there is a new trend making the rounds among young people on social media. They're calling it smoking alcohol. And health experts say it could be the most dangerous way to get drunk, possibly even deadly. Brian Miller has the story you'll see only on NBC 26. The smoking alcohol craze has stayed mostly underground, but as more and more videos of people smoking alcohol show up on the internet, it's becoming mainstream. For those who love to drink but are watching their weight, smoking alcohol is the in thing in some bars in cities like Chicago and Los Angeles. Smoking alcohol was something that was popular about 10 years ago. It was a very short lived fad and kind of went away, and now we're seeing the reemergence. But ER doctor Ryan Murphy insists the risks outweigh any potential weight loss benefits. Um, alcohol poisoning, uh, rapid intoxication, loss of consciousness. <laughs> the fad is making a comeback thanks in part to the internet. YouTube videos like these show young people using various ways to vaporize and inhale booze. Shortly after YouTube became popular, that these were the hazards. Chris Wardlow is a drug and alcohol abuse prevention specialist who works with teens in Outagamie County. He says young people are six times more likely to die from alcohol than any of the other drugs combined. The primary reason being is that it, it, it impairs their judgment. And then you put them under the influence of alcohol and it just intensifies uh, the risks that they're willing to take. The trend inspired devices like the Vapor Teeny, sold online for about $35 with everything you need to smoke alcohol except the booze. NBC26 reached out to the maker of Vapor Teeny. Our emails were not returned. But the company's website defends smoking alcohol writing, quote, this has the advantage of no calories, no carbs, no impurities. Unlike traditional consumption of spirits, vapor teenies give more control. Shortly after exhaling, all of the effects of the alcohol consumed are felt. Body's defense mechanism, if you drank too much, would be you get sick and you vomit and the alcohol comes back out. However, if you're breathing the alcohol in, you don't really have that safety mechanism. Concern that pretty soon we're going to start seeing maybe some warnings from public health officials about uh, the lethality of something like this. And while vaporizing booze might be gaining popularity, it's a risk health experts say is not worth taking. Some people smoke alcohol by pouring it over dry ice, but health experts warn that method is even more dangerous because of the toxicity of dry ice. Brian Miller, NBC26. And we have more information about this story on our website. Head to NBC26.com to see additional details on the dangers of smoking alcohol from NBC News and other online health sources. That information can be found by clicking on the story.